Welcome everyone. On the occasion of seeing some green shoots, I guess you could call it, in the uranium space um, with regards to the price finally uh, ticking up and equities moving as well, I figured I would do this video, which is a bit more basic than many of the uranium videos that I've done on this channel, but I just wanted to make a video that's kind of introductory. Um, so if someone's new to investing in uranium and had just either seen the stocks or heard it from a friend or whatever and was just looking for basic information, basic what's the thesis, how does it work, what are we waiting for, and all that, I just thought I'd cover this basically. The story for the uranium market for the past, let's call it five years, has been the price goes up or the lights go out. And the problem that many people were having is that they got tired of the story in that, sure, that sounds like a good story, but if that were the case, why hadn't the price gone up already? And I'll get to that in a bit, but with uranium, the supply cuts, and there were many supply cuts over the last few years, four, four, three, four, four years now, and they got no response in the price. And so now people have many questions and stories and what's going to happen in the energy in the future. Is everything going to be renewables? Is everything going to be hydrogen powered? Is their Gen 4 reactors not going to need uranium or fusion or whatever? Maybe we're going to connect pelotons of bikes to the grid. I, I don't know. Plenty of stories out there. But looking at the numbers might give you a different story. Now I say look at the numbers because according to the numbers I use, and again, I could be wrong, so you should definitely look, make your own set of assumptions, model it out, tell me what you think is going to happen. But according to the numbers I use, the demand for uranium and mined supply of uranium is actually growing. And this is not to talk about any ideals or what should happen or how the future should go. This is based on what it looks like to me will happen. So I know what you're probably thinking right now. If the price needs to be higher to incentivize supply, and if demand is growing, then why isn't the price moving up? And here is where uranium works differently from most other commodities. Inventory. Remember I said before there was oversupply in uranium before 2014 or whatever? 2016-ish? Anyway, all this oversupply created inventory above ground. And so the utilities can then draw from their inventory instead of buying new uranium that's mined every year and using it right away. So that way, right now, we could, in theory, uh, some would say we are, be at a point where the, where the market is in deficit, so not more is being used than what is being produced. And so this is eating away at the inventory. And utilities can, for extended periods of time, and would, in this scenario, buy less than they use. So the thesis, the bull thesis, is really as simple as, if we're in a deficit now, which many bulls would say we are, myself included, the thesis is simply that we wait for all of the available inventory and there's, remember, when you're doing your research, there's a difference between available inventory and inventory. The sector has a long history of having a lot of inventory kind of in the pipeline, and that's a topic for something else. But the available inventory, we need it to be consumed. And then the price should simply move high enough for the restart of idled capacity. And then if it need, if we need new capacity, that would probably mean that the price would go even higher than the restart. 
One very important point, which I need to make here, and you might not realize right away the implications of this, but if you do your own research and kind of start putting together the uranium thesis, you'll realize why I'm saying this, and it's very important. It takes a while to get supply back online. You can't just switch on a uranium mine and then have it in, pull it out of the mine, shove it in a reactor. It doesn't work like that. First, a mine could take maybe a year to restart, maybe another year to get back to full capacity. And then once you have the uranium coming out of the mine at full capacity, so maybe in two years in the future, it needs another year and a half to two years for the uranium to be transformed or processed into fuel. So let's look at the implications of if the market were in a deficit now. Well, if it were and the utilities inventories were at long-term average levels, let's say that were the case, the market wouldn't be balanced for best case or worst case, whatever you want to call it, a year or two years. So all that demand that's, all that uranium that's being used in those two years that isn't being resupplied in those few years, well, that demand doesn't go away. It's drawn down from the inventory. So you'd actually need more supply to come online in the future, and you'd need there to be a surplus just to balance out the time where we were in deficit. You're probably thinking, well, hang on a second. You said that utilities keep inventory. Why would they need to keep an inventory? Why don't they just buy on the spot market? Well, that is a complicated question, more complicated than for this video. But let's basically say that the high level of inventory is common because historically and currently, Utilities are very concerned with having the security of their supply. They cannot afford to not have their uranium. And the price is uh, insignificant compared with the price of building and operating a nuclear reactor. The price of uranium is minimal compared to that. And the other thing is, the other big reason for this is that in uranium at least the spot market is not a real market i mean it is but not only is it highly illiquid but the volume transacted on the spot market is hails in comparison to what gets uh, transacted behind the scenes at contract prices so that is to say most of the uranium that gets burnt today used today if you will was contracted for a dozen years ago. It was and mined at least two years ago. So, so the whole the whole process is a big um, well process. And so the point is, the spot market isn't really a li liquid. So you're not going to be able to go on the spot market and buy as much uranium as you want because, it's like, even in the best of times, probably not there. So I'm just going to conclude this video by summing up the bull thesis. If the bulls are right, the inventory that's above ground or available for purchase is declining. And the longer it takes, the more probable we see an overshoot to the upside, if you will, because the supply is going to have less time to react and there's more likely a intermediate short-term uh, appearance of a crunch. Now, also, the bulls will point out that the sector is very slow and always years behind where it looks like it should be. If that doesn't make sense, do a bit more research and it will. But the one thing I also want to say is you found this video very good. Doubt every word I say and look up things for yourself because you are in charge of your own investments, no one else. Have a great day.